everybody, been a while since I've done a video. Um, I don't normally like to film my DIY uh, stuff for my car because um, I'm amateur <laughs> and I'm sure I'm doing everything wrong here, but I'm going to film a little bit today. So, um, excuse the dog fur everywhere, it does need to clean. Uh, well basically, I'm in here in the, um, in the part underneath the where the back seats normally go. So I've actually whoop, almost tripped over. Uh, removed the tub. And what we're doing is I've got two things I've run from the front. Um, this is an Anderson cable. Oh, it's just a, a cable that we're running which has Anderson plugs on the back. And um, I'm hooking that up to my existing, I'm gonna replace, this is my existing Anderson plug back here. Um, for when I get the trailer, it's going to uh, then power the trailer. So I've actually, I wired this up a while ago. I did not I did a bit of a bodge job, as you can see here. This is where the cable ran. Um, but basically, I wanted it to be very flexible. So I put in these cables to, um, to plug in. If I had a battery in the back here, um, I could run power from that battery through the back here to the camper trailer. Now, in since I've done this, I actually found that it's kind of useless um, because they're, oh, I didn't have the right cabling anyway. So I haven't really used it, but it's here. So, but the plan is to actually run this cable to that connector on the back there. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, and I also have my electric brake controller, which is that other cable here and it's going to run also in through here and then connect to my plug down there, which is, um, that's a seven pin large. Um, <laughs> on that, there's different choices you've got. We've got seven pin small, seven pin large, uh, seven pin flat and 12 pin flat. <sighs> and I, I tossed up replacing it with a 12 pin flat uh, because I could run a few extra things through it. But in hindsight, well, after a while, I decided that, yeah, I didn't really need to do that. The seven pin large, which is what I have, is actually a very highly rated um, connector and they, they use it on trucks and other things. Um, I'm assuming because of the size of it, it, it doesn't come loose like the, the, uh, the small round one does. So I figured that I didn't really need to go for the flat one. I'm happy with the round one. Maybe down the track, we can, we can change it over to something different, but for now, I don't need anything else to run the, tra the trailer brake controller because it goes into the center pin of that and I'll have an Anderson plug for, for power. So my job today is, by the way, it is ridiculously windy here today in Brisbane. Um, my job is to, besides clean up all the sand here, <laughs> um, I love these things. Uh, is to run, finish running this cable, which I've run from, from um, under the bonnet, through the grommet, and then down the side of the car, and it's gonna come into here. And then I'm gonna go into here, and then the plan is to actually go through one of these two grommets, probably, probably this one here on the side, and then out to, to the connections that it needs to be connected to. Um, so it'll be all nice and neat. Now my, my actual plan is to eventually run a, um, a battery into here, put a, a mount a second battery into the floor here. Um, I have, because the new camper comes with the dual battery system, my existing 140 amp hour battery doesn't really have much of a place. So. Um, my actual goal is to actually run it into here, uh, get a DC-DC charger to charge off the battery and also to mount um, some solar panels or solar panel on top of the roof here um, and run that into, also get a, I'll get a DC-DC with um, MPPT connections. Um, I actually already have an MPPT. Um, 
charger anyway, so maybe I don't need to do that, because it's a Victron, which is a good one too. Um, I haven't quite decided that, and that's not my job for today. My job for today is just to run these cables, and then we'll come back and do the battery setup another time. So um, that's what I'm doing. Now I've just got to pull off this, this here, and um, I'll show you how that goes in a second. All right, so first thing we'll do is we'll just remove these little the caps here. Now, as I installed this a while ago, and I've actually never used it, maybe once or twice, I've used these things. I've actually took all the connections off a old battery box I had and wired them into here, and then they came into here and they just connected to the battery if I had it under here. So I probably will use that in the future, but for now it's sort of, they're going unused. Um, so now I need to pull off this. Now these, these things are a pain to get off, I'll tell you that now. Um, so it looks like we've got a screw here. My, my very safe keeping of nuts and bolts with the doggy bags. And I'm just gonna pull some rubber away. So we can get a bit of water in that. Had a bit of rain the last few days. Now, this tool, we, these are all just clip. So we'll just, uh, I've done, done this so many times on the other one, I've actually bro broken a bunch of clips. So it doesn't actually clip very well into the other side. It works though, it still stays on. So that's the main thing. I still don't. I've never told anyone this. I actually have this ridiculously loud rattle coming from the back door that I can't seem to solve. All right. Where are we going here? So this. Trying to remember how I did the other side, hoping it's the same. Not sure if you guys can see that. Oh, you might get to see me on camera. I'm not a good looking fella. You can see this. I don't know. I don't want to break anything. Unfortunately, you're going to take off this white one here to, um, to get to. So, I need to pull this whole black section out so I can run cables through it. Um, it's unfortunate. Yeah, it's all clipped in here. You get to see me fight with this thing. Let's see. Come on. There we go. Go around the other side. it's got the seat belts going through it so I can't actually 
completely get it out of the way without having to unbolt the seat belts, which I don't really want to do. Okay. What have we got? We have one, two, three, possibly four screws there. So um, we'll just undo them again. I'm not sure how much you can see from down here. screw it in but they also can pop everything in as well. Let me grab you and uh, show you what's going on here. Right so cables are going to run through under the floor there. Now under the floor is this um there's a plastic um, piece which actually is in the car. Um, goes over the top of this form fitted foam piece which you don't want to break and so now my cables are coming through underneath there and we're going to run them up under this bit here and through to the back so uh, you really see any of that so I'm just going to show you we've got uh, cables now going up under the carpet and it's going to run up through here Come around the back. So the cable runs um, behind here and then down through here and then out here. Um, and then that'll go through to where it needs to go. Uh, so right now I'm going to um, work on putting that through the base there. And this is my least favorite part, and that's getting onto the ground. I'm actually gonna remove this, this cable here, um, out from back, and just this cable is gonna go directly into that port. Um, I mean, I could technically leave it in there so I could swap things around, but I'm not going to. So let's just go with that. So again, I don't wanna overcomplicate it. So the next thing I need to do is remove this grommet. Can I see the grommet? Easy done. So there's my hole, which will now um, we'll thread those through. I do. possible I have another grommet to go. So the um, my Red Arc brake controller came with a bunch of grommets with the um, the pack. And I'm wondering whether this looks like it may fit. It may take a little bit of work. It's just a fraction too big. Oh, I can try and make it fit because that'll be handy. Although it won't accommodate my um, power cable. Hmm. I'll figure it out. All right, so here's a look under the car. We have, so one of the grommets that came with the um, Red Arc, <laughs> it's probably not designed for where I'm putting it, but it actually works. I do a bit of manipulation to get it in there, but there's actually two cables coming through there. I might end up um, sickerflexing that and just um, seeing here we go with that. Anyway, we've come down here and I already had this mounted, so it's just mount. I just re it's sticking out a little bit, but that's okay. Remounted the uh, new cable into the back of that, 
and then I mounted the uh, brake controller into, I don't want to get flickering on the screen but anyway, um, into the back of the large round, um, following the instructions of course, and that's all uh, cable tied up and um, ready to go. So happy with that. And then I'll give you the look okay. inside. And we go through the hole. So now I've got to try and work out how to um, mount all this stuff neatly in there, tidy up all this, and give it a bit of a test, I guess. All right, I'll be back later. I'm done. Um, I just remembered that I hadn't posted anything. Um, but basically all the cables are running underneath. Um, <laughs> I did make one mistake where I ran the cables and they're not quite running where I want to, but that'll be fine actually. It's just not quite as neat. This, um, this bit sits up a little bit because the cables are coming out there. I didn't run them underneath like I was supposed to. Stupid. Anyway, um, it works. I, well, the uh, 12 volt plug works. Um, as far as the brake controller, the light came on on the, on the button. I guess that's a good sign, but I don't actually have a trailer to test it with, so um, we'll know once I get the trailer, I guess, if that works or not. But, I mean, it was pretty foolproof. I, I can't see why it would uh, not work. Um, I've run it properly. Um, some things not quite as neat as I like them, but um, we're all good. Anyway, back together. So this DIY, DIY project is finally finished as soon as I finished cleaning up this mess with my tools.